Hi. Merry Christmas, everyone. Sunday, December 25th. About 11.30 a.m. End of the blizzard. Blue sky. Still very cold. A little windy. Um, people are just now starting to get out and figure out what to do. There's no place to put the snow that you shovel. The snow is very hard. It's very packed from the wind. So it's difficult to shovel. Um, and most pathways are like a foot above the ground because it's just been packed down from walking on it. When this stuff begins to melt, it's going to be a real pain in the ass. And the way our winter's been going, it'll be melted by next week and then we'll get another one and so on and so forth. Very weird Christmas because the past two years, COVID prevented a lot of Christmas activities and now we have this blizzard. Makes you wonder. crazy is it doesn't even look like that much snow fell. I mean, this is obviously all wind blown. So you'll see literally the sidewalk. And even part of the street. But then there's that big drift on Breckenridge right here. Then walking up towards Richmond, I mean, I'm walking in the middle of Breckenridge right now, and my feet are sinking like two feet into the snow. Looks like somebody snowblowed here. So it's really hard to tell how much snow we got because it was blown around so much. But based on, I don't know, just how the cars aren't really buried. I mean, the National Weather Service said by the end of, by when all was said and done, we would see up to five feet. I feel like five feet so 60 mile, 60 mile an hour winds. We'd see a lot more buried everything. This is Richmond Avenue.
very difficult to walk. People have cross-country skis on. Which I remember in the blizzard of 85, which I think was worse than this. That blizzard happened the week of Martin Luther King Day, January 1985. And we had school, we were off of school for over a week. We lived on Kensington Avenue near Eggert Road at the time. And I remember having the radio on or my mother having the radio on listening to WKBW, I think. And nurses and hospital staff would call in requesting rides to whichever hospital they worked at to get rides from anyone that had a snowmobile. And you hear none of that. I don't know how nurses got to work. But there's certainly no drama like there used to be. And I remember the day that the the day after the blizzard of 85 ended, having to struggle shovel the driveway plows had gone down the street three times and left five foot debris of plowed ice and rock and snow at the end of the driveway. But looking way down Kensington Avenue towards the city and there were people cross-country skiing up and down Kensington Avenue to work because there was still a driving ban. And the Blizzard of 85 was the first time I'd ever heard of a driving ban. And like I said, I walked to school. It was only a few blocks away, but it took them a week to clean up the city. And I believe they actually had to tack time on at the end of the year, the school year, because we had taken so many snow days. Anyway, when I'm able, I'll venture out a little bit further. But right now, I'll tell you, the one thing, the things that get cold the fastest are your fingers. Everything else is fine, but my fingers feel like they're gonna fall off. And I have warm mittens on. Merry Christmas, everyone.